Good morning, Keller Williams agents. I hope you're doing well. It's Sydney Seymour, your regional technology trainer, and I am here with a very exciting update. I'm so excited for all of you to hear about this. I think this is something that you have been asking for, requesting, so let's not waste any time. Today we're gonna talk about opportunity tasks, and we're gonna talk about the newest rollout, which is making these tasks smarter. So these are called smart tasks. So I'm gonna walk you through, this is a huge request and I'm so excited that it's something that our amazing team has been able to deliver to you. So first things first, we're gonna go into opportunities. Now there's two ways to go about this. Let's say that you have never created a set of opportunity tasks. We can go in and add this feature as we're creating the tasks. Or let's say that you have created some opportunity tasks and now you wanna go in and you wanna make them smarter, you wanna make your life easier you can do that as well. So just to kind of have a little bit of a refresh, opportunity tasks are checklists that can be associated with any stage under listings or buyers or leases. So if we take a look at this and we go into listings and then we go into our active listings, you'll notice that at the very top you have stages and checklists. So remember, while cultivate appointment active under contract and closed cannot be changed, those are the standard phases that we have, the stages that fall underneath can be customized. And we suggest that you customize those for your business. So if you wanted to customize those, you would just come right up here to stages and checklist. And then you'll see, <clears throat> you might have the standard stages that are there. Uh, you can come up here and you can add a stage at any time. And then you'll see that we have these checklist items. Now we're gonna actually just add a stage. We'll walk through all of this together. And we're gonna call this Carolina's region test. And we're gonna give this probability like 50%. That means that there's a 50% chance that this is actually gonna get to closing. Now I can come down here and I can add tasks directly from here. I'm just gonna hit save and then we'll see how that comes up right down here. If I wanted to reorder it, I can do that easily by dragging and dropping. But we wanna come over here to the checklist items and I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to create this. So we're gonna come right up here and we're gonna say that we wanna add a task. So maybe this is for a listing and this is for an active listing. And so the task name might be, maybe you're starting to see in your market that listings are getting closer to that expiration date. And so you know, okay, maybe 10 days before the listing expires, I want to make sure that I've pulled the most recent comps and that I schedule an appointment with the seller to show all of the marketing things that you've been doing to ensure that they continue to list with you. So we're going to say pull comps and schedule appointment with seller. And then what type of task is this? We're going to say it's other. I'm not going to enter a description. I don't need to add a hyperlink. So for a lot of you that have used opportunity checklist and tasks, this is looking like the same old, same old. So let me show you where it really makes you smarter. Down here under due date, once we check into that, we've got these new options. One is on smart due date. The other is before or after smart due date. We're gonna choose that one. Before or after the smart due date, I'm gonna say I wanna do this 10 days before. So I can just come in here, I'm just gonna enter that little zero. I can also do weeks um, or weekdays before, but we're gonna stick with the 10. And then right here, I'm gonna select the opportunity key date. And you'll see I have all of these. I'm gonna choose listing expiration date. What this means is for every listing that you take and you have this checklist for, 10 days before that listing expires, as long as you've entered that information in the details section of the opportunity, a task is gonna automatically come up that says, hey, you need to pull comps and you need to reach out to the seller to schedule an appointment with them. I would just choose create, and then I can move into another one. So another task that I might want, let's say that this is for a different listing and it's going live and I wanna really make sure that I do a social media blitz for it. So I'm gonna say create campaign and social posts. And then that again is going to be an other. I'm gonna come down here on that due date. I'm gonna choose this time on the smart due date and the opportunity key date is going to be maybe the target live date. And then I'm gonna choose create. 
So you have the ability to come in here and literally set up these checklists once with the timing that you want to make sure that nothing falls through. So we're talking about, you can use this for due diligence, for escrow, for staging, for anything. Um, I'm curious how you're gonna use this. We've had really great feedback on this new feature and I hope this helps you save some time and also continue to thrive in any market. So definitely go check out these new smart dates that are under your stages and checklist in opportunities. Again, I would just hit save here and we'd be ready to rock and roll. So again, I hope this is really beneficial to you and your business. Can't wait to see how this helps you. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Sydney Seymour, your regional technology trainer for the Carolinas region. Make it an awesome day, everyone.